Bradley Aiden Johnson here with um, a video that people have been waiting for and messaged me, bugging me about, so I'm finally going to do it. Uh, how to cut, what to eat, and how much of it, because precise macros for how to cut. Now, there are a million ways of doing this, and uh, different people have different formulas, different calculations, but they all tend to be roughly the same way. This is my way, it works for me, it'll probably work for you. If not, you're probably doing it wrong, because I'm a genius. Anyway, before we get into all of that, if you don't like math, and you don't like the idea of counting calories, and you don't like, uh, you know, being this precise, just click somewhere else, because this is precision stuff, you know. If you don't want to count calories, this isn't for you, okay? You still here? Great. This is how you do it. Let's assume, okay, you are 200 pounds of weight, right? And you want to cut, you want to lose some weight. The first thing you need to do, the most important thing you need to do, is you need to work out your... Uh, Basal metabolic rate, totally daily energy expenditure, caloric baseline. Basically how much calories to keep you at that exact same weight. Um, the only way to work this out is through experience and testing things out and trying it. But I'm going to give you some numbers that very well could be your numbers. Okay? So, you take your weight in pounds. Yeah, If it's in kilos, multiply by 2.21, etc. Whatever it is, to work out what it is in uh, pounds. If you do it in stones... Don't do it in stones. Whenever people send me things in stones, I'm like, why have you sent me this in stones? Stones are useless. You can't calculate anything with stones. Anyway, get it to pounds. Let's say you're 200 pounds. Multiply that number by 15. 200 times 15 is 3,000. That is probably, possibly, your caloric baseline. Might be not, it might be lower, it might be higher. Let's assume it is, okay? We'll start there. That's what we're going to assume it to be for your first week of cutting. You take 600 away from that number. So 2,400 is the calories that you're going to cut at, yeah? So you're going to eat, every single day, 2,400 calories. Got that? Good. Now, to break down your macros, the first thing you want to do is find out your protein number. Your protein number is going to be, it could vary from this, but this is middle of the road. This will probably work for you. 1.25 times your body weight in pounds. So I've said this before on the How Much Protein to Eat a Day video. 200 multiplied by 1.25 equals 250 grams of protein, yeah? So that's how much protein you're going to be eating a day from whatever sources, okay? Next, you want to work out how much fat. To work out how much fat, again, it could be slightly different, but middle of the road, these are good numbers, work with these, is 20% of your total, your, total, <laughs> your, total, your total calorie intake, which is 0.2 multiplied by that 2400 figure that we just had, yeah? That works out to be, I did this math before, 53 grams, sorry, I went ahead of myself. This works out to be 480 calories of fat, okay? That's how much calories you're going to be getting from fat. Now, each gram of fat has about 9 calories in it, yeah? That's the baseline for... There's 4 calories of uh, four calories in every gram of protein and carbs and 9 calories in every gram of fat. So you divide that 480 by 9 and you get 53 grams. That's how much fat you're going to be having a day. So at the moment you've got 250 grams of protein, 53 grams of fat. Next, you add up how much calories that you've had so far, which is the 480 calories from the fat and the 250 grams multiplied by 4,000 calories that you have from the protein. Are you with me so far? That's 1,480 calories. You take that away from the total calories you're having for the day, which is the 2,400, yeah? We good? And you're left with 920 calories, yeah? That's how many calories you're going to be getting from carbs. Now, 4 calories per gram in a carb so you divide 920 by 4 and you get 230 grams. Now you have your, your macros. You've got 2,400 calories a day. Four, sorry, 2,400 calories a day, 250 grams of protein, 53 grams of fat, and 230 grams of carbs. Do that for three weeks. Eat the exact same thing for three weeks. What you'll find is just eating correctly and working out. That's another point. We'll get to that at the end. Just working out and... and um, and eating correctly, eating good, wholesome, whole sources of food and eating that amount of protein, you'll lose fat. But let's imagine, yeah, that I got those numbers totally wrong, yeah, and you're working out lazy in the gym. You have a really slow metabolism, say. Your job is sitting in an office, you, get, you drive there, your workouts are really rare, you don't do any cardio or nothing. Let's assume that, right? And you go for three weeks, and three weeks later, you look at your weight and you're still 200 pounds. Whoops. You calculated your, your calories incorrectly. So then you recalculate, okay? And you take a lower multiplier. First of all, when we multiply your basal me metabolic rate, we multiply by 15, because that's like middle of the road, yeah? I'm much higher. I work out really often. I multiply mine by like 20-ish at the moment, something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, you take that 200 pounds, and instead of multiplying by 15, multiply it this time by 13. You get 
200, 2,600 car, 2,600 calories. Yeah, you take away 600 from that, like we did before, you're left with 2,000 calories. That's going to be your new cutting number, yeah? You can work out the protein the exact same way. It's multiplied by your body weight, which is 250 grams again, yeah? Which works out to be 1,000 calories. Your fat is 20% of your total calories, 2,000 times 0.2 equals 400 calories from fat, divide that number by nine equals 44 grams of fat. You better be with me so far. If I'm going too quickly, I apologize, but you can always rewind the video. Um, you then work out your carbs, which is the rest of that. Uh, to save you all the math and the calculation, it works out to be 600 calories from carbs. Divide that number by four and you're left with 150 carbs. Your new cutting macros will be 2,000 calories a day, 250 grams of protein just as before, 44 grams of fat, and 150 carbs. Do that for three weeks. You're hoping for one to two pounds of fat lost every week. If you're getting that every week, fantastic. Three weeks later, you'll be, a f say, one, two, five, let's call it five. You'll be five pounds lighter, so 195 pounds. Redo those numbers. Multiply 195 times, uh, times 1.25. You have slightly less protein and uh, it will work out to be slightly lower calories and slightly less carbs and you just carry on doing that. Once you've found how quick your metabolic rate goes, assuming you keep your exercise the same, it should maintain the same, throwing in some refeeds when you get to, to lower fat, but I've done videos on that, so look at my refeed videos if you need to understand that. You will continue to lose fat as long as you keep your numbers on point and you're strict and adhere, strict and adhere to your diet. If you need to, um, to cheat, don't cheat, refeed. Check my refeed video, it's the way to eat foods that look like cheat foods, kind of have a cheat day without actually cheating and sticking to your numbers. Your numbers are everything, they will help you lose weight. Now, the point I was going to bring up before, because I'm giving you all this math now, now you know how to do it, is keep, there's a, there's a phrase in economics called ceteribus paribus, it's a Latin phrase which means all things being equal, yeah? It is really helpful to keep all things equal when you're working out and training and cutting. If you keep your workouts constant intensity like you work out on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays that's what I do and then you do cardio on those off days which is what I do yeah if you do that keep doing that don't change don't have a week where you're really working out another week where you're not really working out because those numbers will mean nothing to your calories your calories are based on how much energy you put out so keep the amount of energy you put out keep the intensity in your workouts the frequency of your workouts keep that the same and control your fat loss with your diet that's one of the keys to, to doing this this is what I do I keep my intensity in my workouts the same I control what is actually happening to my body through my diet. What I eat defines how I become, how I become bigger or smaller. Hopefully this has been some help. This video is a little bit long, but it is a pretty complicated topic. Um, I'll put some annotations or something on the video at some point to make it a little bit, and if anything I said wasn't clear, please let me know. I will redo this video, or do it a different way or break it down even further because this is really the core of losing weight. Uh, if you do this, you follow these numbers, you will lose weight. Um, you, you might want to nip tuck them a little bit, you know, to your own personal taste if, you know, you find something a little bit difficult or easier. But this is the way to cut. It's how I cut. It's how I lost my weight. Hopefully there's been some help. Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any queries or suggestions, please hit, put a comment on this page or whatever. Like the video. Like my Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, subscribe, man. Seriously. I've got some good stuff. Peace.